Hello, welcome to another Seeds of Flourishing video. So it's Sunday, so it's going to be a book featured today. And um, this book is, is one that played a major, major role in my sort of on ongoing Seeds of Flourishing, I suppose. So, sometime in 1993 or thereafter, I bought this book. I actually have this still in hardback. Uh, comparative programming languages and it would have been just before I started thinking about doing my postgrad in computing and manufacturing and it really got me interested in earlier languages in the history of computer programming and if you've not read a book like this before basically it goes through and it compares and contrasts various aspects of programming languages and you know looks at how different features are implemented in different languages so you know what there might be a chapter on say variable initi initiation or whether a language how a language handles immutability or how a language handles arrays and how different languages handle you know logic and stuff like that and loops and goes through them comparing one against the other and I was just fascinated and off the back of that it then led me to just want to just experiment in different languages so I can remember you know buying a book on assembler or buying a book on C and as a result I've built up quite a nice classic library of different old programming banks you know I've got the classic C book and the classic C++ book and I just picked up not that long ago a book on Snowball 4 which I dabbled in sometime in the 1990s I think um, when I was getting interested in um, what would you call it text processing and manipulation so I'm I'm sort of looking really t to get a more up-to-date book of this I mean it's been an ongoing passion of mine for, for a number of years now and I am aware that there is a, a 2000 book so I've been digging around um, and I didn't really want to buy this because it's you know <laughs> over 20 22 years old so i've been going through and you know researching various um, establishments and you know where they run a comparative programming course what sort of books they use and i stumbled across this course that's run in ireland actually and um, it has if i go on to the actual module as it stands at the moment so this is the you know, the current up-to-date module description and down here it has their indicative reading list now I noticed this list hadn't been updated since an earlier version a summary of the course I actually found some course notes on their website for the introduction component and here's the text list just done a bit more neater done more in that um, you know, proper reference layout because you can see here it, it's got a little patchy on the website but I did check down and eyeballed it and it's exactly the same reading list so that the reading list hasn't really changed since whenever this was done so my question to the viewers is um, firstly is there anybody out there that watches this video on the off chance that they are also interested in comparative programming um, and I'm sort of looking for recommendations of more up-to-date books that deal with the concept of comparative programming. Now, I'm aware your recommendation may be one of these. Um, I'm not looking for rep recommendations on programming language books because I have those coming out of the wazoo. Um, and some of these I am aware of already. Like, I, I know I'm aware of this one. The Robert Sebesta book, although I thought this was in the twelfth edition now, but I could be wrong. They only seem to have the eleventh uh, edition. 
I'm also aware of this one, which is the, the Michael Scott book. Now this, when did this come out? Oh, this is, a, so the, the fourth edition is 2015. I think in the this description, oh, that's 2015 as well. So that is as, as up to date as it can be, um, which is probably why they've never updated it on there you know, with a more up-to-date course listing. I'm not aware of this one. Uh, I don't assume it's ever been updated. Otherwise, they would have updated it on their course description. So, Programming Language Design Concepts by David Watt. And this is 2004. These are pretty pricey, by the way. <laughs> um, this one I am aware of, this uh, John Mitchell book. Um, judging by this, it must still be you know, in print. 2002. I suppose the the concepts are the same. It's just the languages change. And the reason why I would like a more up-to-date book is, you know, it would be nice to have ones that maybe compare um, programming languages from the you know more more up to date ones like i don't know if they would necessarily cover some of the uh the languages from the 2010 say that have, have come to the fore and it might be interesting to see to see those if they bring anything new to the table i mean because a lot of programming languages just reiterate and combine what's already out there but um I'm just curious, really. So, yeah, you know, any recommendations would be greatly appreciated. And then finally, this is quite an old one. Um, and I, as you probably gathered, you know, I do quite like old computing books. Uh, so this comes from 1996 called and I, I wasn't again, I wasn't aware of this, uh, this one. So the ones I am aware of is this one, this one and this one. And the ones I'm not is this one by David A. Watt. And this one by Ben Ari. Um, I also think there's probably a number of books that form part of the Pragmatic, the pragmatic Programmer Library. Um, and also I noticed that Springer have a whole load of books that deal with concepts of programming rather than specifically programming languages. So any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. But uh, in terms of... The seeds are flourishing that, that obviously I was already programming before this, but this really tipped me over into fully wanting to explore a whole slew of languages and tracked down like all the really cool original books on like C and C++ and um, what is it? APL, BCPL. Um, what's another one that I... I've got, I don't think I'd track down an original one on Fortran, but you know, those, those sort of books. And I tracked down the Snowball 4 one a few weeks ago. So yeah, thanks once again for listening. Bye for now. And I will catch you in the next video.